Hello everyone, in this video I am going to teach you the conjunctions. There are four kinds of conjunctions in English and we are going to study step by step. So in the first conjunction, we are going to study about the coordinating conjunctions. So let's go together how do we use the coordinating conjunctions and what are the elements of the coordinating conjunctions. Conjunctions are used to join two or more parts of words, phrases, clause, and sentences, and the relationship between those parts. As we know that we use the conjunction to join word, phrase, clause, and sentences. But to make sure that the idea of the word that we join is the relationship to each other. And we have four kind of conjunction in English. We have coordinating conjunctions. We have correlative conjunctions, we have subordinating conjunctions, and we have conjunctive adverbs. So we are going to study one by one, and let's let's go together to check number one the coordinating conjunctions. Okay, before we go into deeper lesson, I have three questions. What are the coordinating conjunctions? How many kinds of coordinating conjunctions are there? And number three, how can we use them? Coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions are used to connect equal elements, such as words, phrases, clause, and sentences. So there are seven kinds of coordinating conjunction in English. As you know that, sometimes we call them fanboys. So now let's go deeper to see what, what are fanboys and how do we use them. And in fanboys, we have A for for, A for N, N for nor, B for but, O for or, Y for jet, and S for so. Okay, so now let's go deeper to study about the fanboys. Fanboys, we have for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. So this is how we use each of them. For, we use for reason, and we use for addition, nor we use for contrast and choice, but we use for contrast and opposite, or we use for choice, yet we use for slightly different or slightly opposite, and so we used to talk about the results. So now look at the example. He goes to the library for he can read easily. So for here means because. Yeah, the saying of English means because. So he goes to the library for he can read easily. So why he, he goes to the library? Because it is a good place for him to read. So and we like coffee and apples. So as you know that conjunction is used to join the idea, to join the element. So we use N here to join coffee and apples. And nor we use to show about the contrast. They refuse to meet me, nor him. And in this sentence, the same means that they don't want to meet me or they don't want to meet him. But we use for contrast. He likes coffee but tea. He likes coffee but not tea. And or we use to talk about the choice. You could stay here or go home first. So this is a choice. You, you can stay here or you can go first. It's up to you. You can go home first. It's up to you. So yet, it's used to talk about a slightly different or opposite. The dog is tame, yet it will bite you when you disturb it. So it means that the dog is good, but it will bite you when you disturb it quite often. And so we used to talk about the result. This lesson is interesting. So we learn a lot from it. And this is how we use the fanboys and we are going to study more with the conjunction. And thank you very much for listening to this.